I first met Jordan Hill. She was the she was in the corporate side of EXP Realty and was Dave Kennard's personal assistant. Is that accurate? She's nodding yes. I hope I didn't screw that up. But Jordan was like the corporate person to the corporate team. And I was like, I was kind of cool that we got to know each other. And she's super helpful. Kirsty and I just absolutely were like this with Jordan Hill, literally. And then one day I'm like, so where do you live? She's like, I'm in um, Salem. And I'm like, Oregon? And we literally, uh, we, we talked probably for a year and I didn't know that. And she's from Salem, Oregon. She's been in EXP only four and a half years. She only got her license four and a half years ago, everybody, and she's crushing it. Icon level producer, which is our highest accomplishment in our particular company. Um, built a team, the Hilltop Property Group, crushing it. They, whatever they put their mind to, Mike and Jordan Hill accomplish it. And so when I asked her, I said, would you mind coming and talking about how you've accomplished all this? How have you done these things? It's going to impact people along the way. And she said, absolutely. You know, and again, that's that service. That's a that heart of contribution, that heart of service that you keep hearing over and over and over. So I'm extremely proud to bring up Miss Jordan Hill. Yes, I'm so excited to be here, you guys. Welcome. I can't wait to meet all of you. I know some of you, but uh, can we just get, let's get some energy. Let's, let's clap. Let's do something. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Yes. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm so excited for this. Salem has needed this for a long time. Shout out Randy and Kirsty. I am so excited. We've needed this, and this is going to be one of a kind. I'm really excited for tomorrow, too. But man, we have some great speakers here tonight. So yes, so I'm Jordan Hill and my husband, Mike and I uh, have been married nine years and Mike is not here today because he is uh, 17 years in the military and he's getting 5,000 um, soldiers ready to deploy over in Louisiana. So yeah, so he's amazing. Can't wait for you guys to meet him. Yeah. <laughs> So Mike and I, and her, our ninth wedding anniversary was yesterday. So he's missing a few things, but that's okay. I'm proud of him. Together, we have four kids. We have four animals. Of course, we're a military family. Um, for, for myself, in addition to real estate, uh, I, this year I decided it was a good year to become a triathlete. So last Sunday, I did 70.3 mile half Ironman. And so... <laughs> So I was pretty excited about that. You know, that's how you know you were born in the 80s. Like, you just start wanting to do that stuff. Um, and so I also like to do Krav Maga when I have extra time. But as far as real estate, Mike and I co-lead Hilltop Property Group. Shout out to them right there in that table. Woo! I love them. And... I'm, I might be biased, but I actually think they're probably the coolest agents ever. So I'm very honored to work alongside them. Um, he mentioned Mike and I are icon agents. There's a very cool program once you hit a certain production level, which by the way is very doable. Um, EXP gives us our cap back in stock. And so of course that grows. So we actually get paid to hang our licenses at EXP. So that's pretty, pretty sweet deal. Um, and yeah, that's a little bit, a bit about us. I love to mentor and coach and, um, you know, be right there in there with it with my team. So a little bit about us. So today I'm going to talk about something that is not a mind blowing concept. We all know what the, what the ripple effect is. You know, you picture a drop of water and it creates those ripples and it changes the body of water that it hits. We all know what that is. It's nothing that that's not too crazy of a concept, but we need to actually take the time to reflect on what that actually means in our life, whether the ripple is affecting us or whether we are the drop of water affecting others. Sometimes we have limits on ourselves, limiting beliefs uh, for ourselves that we might project onto others, um, blinders on that really make it so that we don't experience or are not able to give a the full effect of a positive ripple in the water. So sometimes, you know, and, and I personally went through this when things were really uh, easy and fun and, and transactions were happening. It was really easy for my pride and my ego to get in the way. So that's been a journey for me the last few years. 
Um, it's easy. Agent culture can be kind of like what Matthew said, like, you know, the next best thing, the newest car, outfit, that's my weakness. Um, <laughs> and so, I mean, it's, it's kind of an easy culture to fall into, shiny and new, and we can kind of get in our own way. And so that is kind of the space that we're going to be talking about right now. And I hope that something stands out to you or sparks something or um, inspires you in some way. So when I was 18... I was about, I had just gotten evicted from my apartment and I had seven days to get all my stuff out and I didn't know where I was gonna go. Uh, I had actually already had a couple stints of sleeping three, four days in my car and I just did not know what to do except get a third job, minimum wage, Home Depot. And my first hour on the job, I met my supervisor, Lisa, and I just found myself telling her about the fact that I was about to be in my car again for who knows how long. And she said, oh, no, you're not. You're going to come live with me. And so I went to live with Lisa, met her. That She invited me into her home. I ended up living with her for two years. Um, the first hour she met me, and, that, and I'm not saying invite every semi-homeless teenager you come across, obviously, but man, like that decision that was made and her invitation for me changed, changed my life. So I'm going to get down here because I want to get to know you guys. Um, so what can we do to unlock this potential? Number one is to not underestimate any interaction. Number two is to give without expectation. And number three is to prepare to show up. So when we're talking about don't, don't underestimate an interaction. I remember sitting across of this about a year and a half ago, sitting across from another team leader, not no one in this room, someone I actually really love and respect, but I was sitting across the table from them and a lender called and said, you know, I want to be on your preferred partner list. Can we talk? And I remember watching the team leader do what I've done many a times. Pride got in the way and said, no, no. H hangs up and says, yeah, when they give me $500, then they can be on my preferred partners list. And then moved on with the conversation. And, you know, I think it was meant to be kind of funny. But I remember something in me was like, I'm going to learn, learn from this. And, and I was able to practice it about six months later when I get a call from a vendor, <laughs> a home staging company, hey, can we meet? I want to be on your preferred partner list. And I remember, going, okay, I'm going to learn what I learned. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a Zoom call. So we had a Zoom call, 15, 20 minutes. It was really nice. The guy was cool. I was like, all right, cool. This was great, you know, for sure. And he's like, can I bring my marketing materials by you so I can give it, you can give it to your team? And I said, sure, you know, I'll be up in Portland area for a mastermind. You can swing it by. And so when he came by with them, he sat down in the middle of my mastermind and I could tell that he was there to stay. And I hadn't invited him to actually sit through the mastermind. And so, of course, my natural selfish instinct was to be like, ooh, like, you don't belong here. Like, I'm trying to teach these agents things. And, and uh, I, again, I remembered, what did I learn? So we welcomed him, welcomed him in, had an amazing time with him. It was so much fun, and he gave us so much value. And at the end of it, he said, I actually, two years ago, I tried to get my real estate license. And I tried five times, and I just, I was so discouraging. I just know, you know, I, I know I have the home staging company, but man, like, that was really tough. And I said, well, Sean, you should just do it again. Like, take, take it again. Like, you, should, you can do this. You're, like, obviously a great business owner and a great guy. And that night he called me and he said, okay, Jordan, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do it. I'm re-enrolling in classes. I'm going to take that test and I'm going to pass it because I'm going to be an agent. And he did. And I, it took him three times, but he did. And, <laughs> to, and right now... He has started uh, two different happy hour masterminds. One in, the one in Portland has gotten up to 60 people so far. Imagine that ripple effect, right? He started one in Salem too. And he still runs his home staging business and he actually staged the lounges, VIP lounges, and uh, he's just making ripples all over the place. But 
man, I'm glad I took that little Zoom call. Welcomed him into the mastermind. And you just never, you just never know. Don't underestimate any interaction. I don't care if it's at the grocery store or in the workplace or with somebody that you meet on the street. Don't underestimate them. Number two, give without expectation. It sounds nice, but it's really hard to do. It's very counterintuitive with our selfish natures. And so the, the beauty and the power that comes from giving to someone, serving somebody, giving to them without expecting anything in return, the byproduct of it is, is amazing, of course. Man, when, when Lisa invited me in, not only she, did she give me a roof over my head, but she gave me something so much more powerful. She showed me love through the faith that she had. And because of that, it brought me back, me back to a faith that I thought I'd never go back to. And because of that, when I married Mike nine years ago, we started going to church. And guess who we met in our Bible study? Brian Benjamin, who's an Oregon managing broker here at EXP. And so, and so the ripple effect of that was Brian brought me onto corporate, and then I got my license, and then my husband got his license. And then we started a team, and it, like just that ripple effect. If she had not invited me into living in her home when I was 18 years old, I definitely would not be right in front of you right now. That's insane to think about. So give without expectation because what you can put out in the world can change this world. Prepare to show up. Now this one's really important because if we are not in the right headspace and we're not taking care of ourselves and we're not happy, healthy, and whole, we're not going to be able to start those ripples at all. We will not be our best selves. We won't be living our best life, like Matthew said. And so when we wake up in the morning, we need to set our intentions. We need to do what we need to do um, to exercise, meditate, pray, all of the above. We need to get, get ourselves right because when we go out and we meet those people and we want to have an open mind and we want to give, if we are not setting our intention every day to bring that to them, then it, it either won't happen or won't go very far. Um, so who knows Randy? Who, <laughs> Randy Bird, let's hear it for him because he did an amazing job and his team. Um, when you talk to him, and if you have not talked to him before, you need to find him and, and talk to him because when you walk away from having a conversation with him, you don't feel depleted. You feel energized. You feel motivated. He just made a little change in your life. This event is going to have ripples for the rest of our life one way or another. And so, I, I mean, I don't know this, but I can imagine when he starts his day and he's having a bad day or a tough day, he probably, he recenters himself and he sets his intention and he tells himself that, he, you know, what is he going to bring to the world with his energy? And, and we feel that when we talk to him. And if we can get ourselves right every day, it's a choice and it's really hard, then we can bring that to others. So in closing, just some self-reflection, self-auditing, thinking back, who has created that ripple in your life? Maybe it was someone when you were five years old and they spoke truth to you when no one else did. Maybe it was someone believing in you. That was the experience I had at EXP Corporate. That was the first time that any employer had ever believed in me in my life. Maybe it was somebody um, who encouraged you to get your real estate license and now you're here and your life is forever different. So who created that ripple in your life and use that as motivation to speak that into somebody else's life? You are best equipped to help those who you once were. So think of where you were five years ago, 10 years ago, last year, and the progress you've made, and keep making that progress. And look back and see who you can help, because that's going to create the strongest ripple of all. But keep an open mind, and you know, don't ever underestimate an opportunity. Always give without expectations. What happens will blow your mind, but, but that's not your focus. And be prepared to show up every day. Thank you. <laughs>